Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video lecture, we will be solving few numericals on the topic of classification of soils. We have already covered the theory portion for this. So now we are in a position to start few numericals that were asked in gate previous year questions. So the first question says that a fine grained soil is found to be plastic in the water content range of 26 to 48 percent. As per the ISC system, the soil is classified as so you are given a range of water content and that range is given as 26 to 48 percent. Now the question is saying that the soil is plastic in this region. What does this mean? The soil is plastic in the region of plasticity zone and the plasticity zone lies between the range of liquid limit and plastic limit. That means and liquid limit is always greater than plastic limit. That means from this data you can find the liquid limit as 48 percent and the plastic limit as 26 percent. You know that you require liquid limit and plasticity index to classify any soil as per the ISC system. So let us begin with the question. So let us draw the plasticity chart. This is IP and this is our liquid limit. Now this is the A line that begins from 20 this is 35 and this is something 50 now since the liquid limit is 48 so it will lie somewhere here and you know this is the intermediate zone this is the MI and this is the CI intermediate clay and this is the intermediate silt the intermediate plasticity silt and this is the intermediate plasticity clay this can also be OI but since there is no such condition given in the question that you can classify this soil as organic soil the soil is organic see I am giving you a hint for such type of questions if you are confused whether suppose you are very sure that the soil is lie below the A line then now you are confused that whether the soil will be MI or OI then if nothing is given in the question then the soil will be MI but if in the question it is given that after urban drying the soil the soil loses this much water content or the soil loses this much weight then that means that that soil will be organic soil and that will not be silty soil because you very well know that organic soil has the property of losing its weight when it dries because at high temperatures when the high temperatures are applied on the organic soil then some of it convert it in convert into ashes so this is the property of only organic soil so in if if in the question such certain conditions are given then that soil will be organic soil if nothing is given in the question then that will be definitely silt so now moving back to the question so uh, you are very clearly shown that water content is 48 so either it will be MI or it will be CI. Now you are confused whether it will be CI or MI so you just check the plasticity index. What is the equation of the A line? It is 0.73 WL minus 20. Now you are given with the WL so you can calculate IP as 48 minus 20 times 0.73 so it will come out to be 20.44. This is the plasticity index from the A line. Now you can calculate your own plasticity index that is given for the soil. It will be 48 minus 26. You know how to calculate plasticity index. It is calculated by WL minus WP. This is IP. So what is WL? It is 48 and minus 26. So when you will solve this, it will turn out to be 22 percentage. It is percentage. So your IP is greater than the IP for A line that means the soil will lie above the A line this is the IP for A line and the IP for your soil is greater than that of the A line so your soil will lie above the A line and in the region of intermediate plasticity so it will be CI and not MI so the soil can be classified as the clay soil of intermediate plasticity so this is how you go for classification of soils question. So moving to the next question now. The next question says that uh, as per the Indian standard soil classification system a sample of silty clay with a liquid limit of 40%. Now let's write what is given in the question. The liquid limit of the soil is given. Liquid limit is WL and it is given as 40%. And the plasticity index is given as 28 percent. 
Now you have to classify this soil as per the Indian Standard Classification System (ISC). See now, since it is forty percent, now you can again make that plasticity chart. This is IP. This is WL. This is twenty. This is thirty-five, and this is fifty. Now again, the WL is forty, so it will lie somewhere here, forty percentage. So definitely, it will again be either MI or CI. No condition for organic soil is given. No temperature susceptibility is given. No loss of uh, weight after temperature is given. So it will be either MI or CI. There is no scope for OI in this case. You should be clear with this thing. Now you have to check whether it is CI or it is MI. Since IP is given as 28 percent, you can calculate the IP for A line. It will be 0.73, 40 minus 20. So the IP will come out to be 14.6 percentage. The IP for the given soil is greater than IP for the A line. That means the soil will be above A line. So in this region, the soil will be above A line. So it will again be an intermediate soil of clay. So it will be. clay soil of intermediate plasticity now moving to the next question the next question says that the laboratory results of a soil sample are given below percentage finer than 4.75 mm is given as 60 percentage this is 4.75 mm sieve and you are also given with 0.075 mm sieve and the percentage finer is given the percentage finer than 4.75 is 60% and percentage finer than 0.075 is given as 30% and liquid limit wl is given as 35% and plastic limit is given as 27% now you have to classify this soil the options are given as gm sm gc and mlmi so you have to decide what option is correct so you have to solve this question first of all you have to check whether the soil is fine grain soil or the soil is coarse grain soil if it is fine grain soil you will have to go for plasticity chart method and if it is coarse grain soil then you, you will have to go for cc and c values so let us first check so you can easily see see what is the border of classification of fine and coarse grain soil it is the sand soil 0.075 mm soil so now you can see that percentage finer than 0.075 mm is 30% that means the percentage retained on this particular sieve will be 70% now you can see that coarse grain soil is 70% and fine grain soil is 30% so since the coarse grain soil has maximum proportion the soil will be classified as a coarse grain soil so you forget the plasticity chart in this question for now it will be used but i will tell you where it will be used now you have to check whether it is coarse grain soil can be gravel as well as it can be sand now you have to check whether it is gravel or whether it is sand now you can see that 4.75 is the border for gravel the percentage finer than 4.75 is 60% that means 60% soil will pass through 4.75 mm sieve and 40% will retain over it 40% will retain over this and 60% will pass now between this and this the soil proportion will be 30% see let me explain this once again this is a very simple question not difficult nahi hai iske upar 4.75 mm how much soil is retained over the 4.75 mm sieve it is 40% since 60% is passing through it definitely 40% will be retained over it how much is retained over 0.075 mm sieve 30% is passing through it 70% will be above it but 40% is above this so how much will be between this 70 minus 40 so 30% will be between 4.75 and 0.075 what is it called this is called as sand this is called as gravel so gravel is more as compared to sand now the soil is classified as gravel not as sand now you have to further see whether the gravel is 
poorly graded or well graded or it, it depends upon the fines percentage of fines present now you can see that percentage of fines are 30 percent there are three criteria less than five percent five to twelve percent and greater than twelve percent you can see the percentage fines what is percentage fines percentage fines are the proportion of soil particles that are passing the 0.075 mmc so the so proportion that is passing 0.075 mmc is 30 percent so it lies in the third category greater than 12 percent so in such category you classify either it as gp or gw well graded gravel or poorly graded gravel so you have to decide whether it is gp or gw now how to decide whether it is GW or GP? You have to decide it on the basis of uh, plasticity chart. So you have to use A line in this case to classify it as, sorry, I'm sorry. Since the percentage of fine particles are greater than 12%, you have to classify it on the basis of fines, whether it is GM or it is GC. Clay or silty gravel whether it is silty gravel or whether it is clay gravel how will you decide it the condition that i uh, told you that gw and gp it is used when the percentage fines are less than five percent i am sorry if the percentage fines are greater than 12 percent you have to go for gm and gc so in this case you have to decide whether it is gm or gc how will you decide whether silt is dominating or clay is dominating definitely the answer is plasticity chart this is 20, this is 35 and this is 50. Now you know water liquid limit is 35 so it will be lying here. Now plasticity index as per the soil condition is 8%, 35 minus 27. But plasticity index of A line it will be 0.73 WL minus 20. What is WL? 35 minus 20. So it will turn out to be 10.95%. So the plasticity index of the given soil is less than that of the A line. The A line has plasticity index of 10.95. So the plasticity index of the soil lies below it. So it will be a silty soil. So the answer will be GM and not GC. So this is how you solve such type of questions. You just have to calculate percentage finer, nothing else. Now moving to the next question, the next question is a linked question. The laboratory sieve analysis was carried out on a soil sample using a complete set of standard IA sieves. Out of 500 gram of soil used in the test, 200 gram was retained on 600 micron sieve, 250 gram was retained on 500 micron and the remaining was retained on 425 micron sieve. Now first question is you have to calculate the coefficient of uniformity of the soil. That means you have to calculate the CU of the soil. So let me write the sieve number and the retained and finer. This is 500 micron sieve and this is 425 micron sieve. You can easily see that these particular sieves are nowhere lying in the gravel case. So it will definitely be a sandy soil. It will not be a gravel soil. But now you are, for the time being, you are asked to calculate sieve of the soil. So you can calculate. Uh, write the retained weight the retained weight is 200 gram retained here 250 gram retained here and 50 gram is retained here now you can calculate the cumulative retained cumulative retained so it will be 200 here it will be 450 here and it will be 500 here now you can calculate the finer how how much will be finer to the sieve so it will be 300 here, 500 minus 200, it will be 50 here and it will be 0 here. Now you can calculate the percentage finer. You need percentage finer to calculate the CU. The percentage finer will be 300 divided by 500. So it will be 60%. The percentage finer for this case will be 50 divided by 500 into 100. It will be 10% here. And since 0 gram of soil is finer, so it will be 0% here. Now you are given that 60% soil is finer to this particle size, 10% soil is finer to this particle size. So you can calculate D60 as 600 micron and D10 as 500 micron. 
this is what is denoted by d10 this is d60 what does d60 means the particle size below which 60% soil is finer so it is 600 micron you can calculate cu as d60 by d10 so it will be 600 divided by 500 micron micron it will cancel out so it will turn out to be 1.1 the cu is 1.1 now the question is can you calculate cc in this case no you cannot calculate cc in this case because you are not given with d30 you can calculate it approximately by uh, the method of linear analysis but it is not linear in this case you can calculate it with linear analysis you can calculate d30 the value of d30 using approximation the linear analysis approximation but you know such curves are not linear at all so if you do this it will be a, an error related solution so you cannot calculate the exact value of cc in this question now moving to the second part of this question the second part ask you the classification of soil in this case so it is very clear that it either it can be gravel or it can be sand since it is less than 0 0.075 uh, mm it it cannot be a fine soil it cannot be clay and silty soil either it is sand or it is gravel now so you can see that the case of gravel is not given 4.75 mm sieve is not given here so you consider that all the soil is sandy soil no case of gravel will be considered in this question since no sieve related to gravel is given in the question now the percentage fines what is the percentage fines the percentage fines is zero since no soil is passing 0.075 mm sieve you can see that not even 425 micron sieve has any fines so how can this has any fines so percentage fines is zero so in the case of percentage fines less than 5% you go for well graded or poorly graded sand that means it will be SP or SW how will you decide it is SP or SW based on CU and CC you cannot calculate CC here so you just check out what is the value of CU the CU is 1.1 and it is less than 6 1.1 is less than 6 so what it will be it will be a poorly graded sand since the CU is less than 6 so this is how you go for such questions now moving to the next question so this is all about the classification of soils in the next video we will study many more things related to soil mechanics thank you